There is a food revolution happening closer to home than you might think. I'm Ian Kanawa, and I encourage my readers to eat locally grown, seasonal, sustainable food. The documentary Food, Inc. has exposed the mechanized underbelly of our nation's food industry. It's controlled by huge corporations, and Tastemakers aims to direct you to vendors who are doing an incredible job of bringing great food to America. We are here in sunny Los Angeles. I've been a resident of Los Angeles for a few days now, and I've been collecting some superb ingredients from local vendors. My plan is to do them justice by making a great Thanksgiving dinner for my family and friends. Of course, my favorite dish at Thanksgiving is always the stuffing. What I found so surprising about visiting Lindy and Grundy was how unusual it was to meet two butchers that are so passionate about knowing exactly where their animals are farmed, so concerned about utilizing meat from the whole animal, and so keen to educate their customers about good food. They do it through the best possible method, our taste buds. The first thing that we want to do is cook our sausage. We got this from Lindy and Grundy. We made it ourselves. And I can see all these little marbles of offcuts of pork, that ham hock that's in there. So I want to brown it in a pan. We're in California, so I got a nice loaf of sourdough bread. I toasted it up. I'm going to add all the ingredients to it one by one, then toss it all together, bake it in the oven. Now that our sausage is ready, this smells so good that I'm tempted to eat some now. Try and keep some of the fat that rendered out of the sausage in this pan. It's very different than the stuff that you get at the store. This smells porky, but in a really good way. I'm going to take about half a stick of butter and add that. I've got my onion, my celery, and then two cloves of garlic. I'm going to add some dried cranberries to the stuffing. It'll add a nice sweetness, a little tartness, and also a really pretty color. For my stuffings, I really like thyme and sage. Big pinch of salt, big pinch of pepper. After about five minutes or so, our vegetables are starting to get a little golden brown, but they're also looking translucent. That's the sign that they're ready to go. I'm going to take these off the heat, put them in the bowl with the rest of the ingredients. Now we just need to stir this all together. This is already beautiful. We have the green celery and the herbs. Those cranberries make it look really festive. But what really hits me with this is that sausage. I can smell it. This whole kitchen is lit up with pork. OK, so this is all mixed together now. I'm going to put it in a buttered baking dish. Of course, we're making duck as our main course. And we want to tie everything together flavor-wise. You could use chicken broth for this if you wanted to. But I really like the idea of using all the parts of the animal, just like we did in the sausage, throughout the meal. So we'll cover this with foil. And now we'll bake this for about 25 minutes until it's nice and soft, tender on the inside. Then we'll uncover it, bake it for another 25 minutes or so until the bread on top is started to brown. This smells amazing. It smells like that sausage. I get the sweetness from the cranberries. It's by far my favorite Thanksgiving dish. And it's made really special with Lindy and Grundy's sausage. I highly recommend that you make this. Mm. And I'm gonna use some of the products that I got from Lindy and Grundy and from Spice Station in the vinaigrette. We'll start out by searing off some pancetta. 